Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the IP routing concept with a single router. The prerequisite for this lecture is you must have a basic knowledge of routers, gateway and IP routing. But if you are new to these concepts, you must watch another video where we have detailed discussion of these concepts along with the same practical. The link is given in the description box. So here we are going to connect two networks as router is supposed to connect two different networks and the process of sending and receiving messages or packets between two network is known as IP routing. So here we are going to connect two networks with two hosts in each network. So let's create the network first. Within network we are having switches and at the upper level to connect these two networks we will be having one router as it is a single router IP routing or static or default route routing because router is supposed to communicate within two networks only and fixed networks. So we can also call it the default routing for this router or the fixed or static routing. So let's make the connections. I am using automatic connection mode. After connection we will simply provide the IP addresses or we will configure the devices. This automatic connection make the connections easier and choosing the cable. So let's simply label the devices as this is our first network so I am providing it as 10.1.1 so every system in this network will have the same network ID so I am using class A addressing as 10 ok so network address and for this second host, second network, I am using 20.1.1 means 20 as the network ID, 20.1.1.2 as the host ID. So I have labeled the systems and let's just divide the networks. So this is our first network. And this is our second network, right? So let's label them. So the network ID for this will be 10.0.0.0 as the uh, if all host bit are 0, then it will form the network ID. And for this, the network ID is 20.0.0.0. Now, next we need to provide the gateway ID for these networks because router will communicate to these networks through gateways only. So uh, we, we can choose any unused address within a network as a gateway address. So here as the we are using class A addressing the subnet mask will, will be 255.0.0. Okay, all addressing are uh, uh, class A addressing. So, so every subnet mask will be 255.0. You can use any class address class B or class C address. But for class A, we will be having subnet mask as 255.0.0. So here I am providing the gateway as 10.1.1.3 uh, as the gateway for this particular network. Okay. So for this network, I am providing gateway as 20.1.1.3. Okay. So simply I used the unused address that is not provided to any host as the gateway of this network. So I simply took the next IP as 1.1.1, uh, 1.1.2 and next is 1.1.3 as the gateway. So here also after 1 and 2, I have provided the dot 3 as a gateway address of this network and subnet mask will be 255.0.0 .0 as all are class A addressing. Okay. So next we need to configure as the labeling is done. Next we need to provide these IP addresses and gateways to the system. So let's configure the first system. Ten dot one dot one subnet mask and now as we are communicating with another network, so we need to provide the gateway address as well. So gateway is ten dot one dot three done. 
for second system ip address is dot 1.1.2 as host id network subnet mask and the gateway as 1.1.3 done now we are configuring the host in the second network with the network id as 20 ip address 20.1.1.1 and the gateway will be dot 3 you can use any other uh, ip address of the same network as a gateway also for second system one dot two this is your subnet mask and the gateway is dot three right so all the hosts in the networks are configured and the connections are also active as we can see the green dots over here now we need to configure this router okay so for configuring configuring the router we must know the port where this network is connected we also must know the port where this another network is connected so for this you can simply view go to options preferences and you can check this option of always showing the port labels so after clicking this you will be able to see the port numbers okay and if you move the router you can simply uh, have a clear view of the port number so as we can see the first network is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and for the second network we have fast ethernet 1 slash 0 so we need to configure this network at this port and this network at this port okay so let's start the configuration of the router so config for fast ethernet 0 slash 0 we need to configure this network and for that firstly we need to turn it on and provide the gateway of the first network so the gateway of this first network at fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is 10.1.3 subnet mask will be taken automatically done sorry and next we have configuration for the router for this second port fast ethernet 1 slash 0 so for this port also we need to turn it on and provide the gateway as 20.1.3 and this is your ip address and done the connections are done and after that you can turn this show labeling off now the connections are done and it is just taking time uh, to turn to active mode because the uh, router and switches are taking time to boot so let's check the connection within the network so the connections within the network are successful as you can see here also if you try sending within the network the connections are successful now let's try to send the packet from this system to router okay from the host to the router and the status is successful also from this host to router the connection is also active okay now let's try to send from one host of one network to another host of another network so here, here we have the first host of first network to the second host of second network the status is also successful means the packet is transmitted successfully and you will also receive the acknowledgement at the destination port you can also simulate this here the switch will forward the packet to the connected router and the router will transmit the packet through uh, means forward the packet to the next hope means depending on the destination address of the packet and routers are only identifying the networks so as the packet is with host or the receiver now the acknowledgement will be transmitted back to the router and the router on viewing the destination of the acknowledgement destination of the acknowledgement will be the source host that has sent the packet here the operation is successful and you can also check this connection via the ping command so i am running the ping command with the second system of the first network ping try ping, uh, pinging any system of another network so i am trying to ping the first system of the first network second network sorry 
and it's taking some time and requires timeout as we are uh, for this second system we are using the connection or we are trying to send the packet for the first time so we may get the timeout okay you may get failure notification for the first transmission for one network from one network to another network but next time you will get the success okay so hope you learned something from this lecture and uh, bye this is all for this time bye take care